If you're looking for a custom home in the Columbus, Ohio suburbs, you've got to check out this video. I'm going to show you around three amazing custom homes that are so unique from each other and at different price points too. You're not going to want to miss the homes because they all have really incredible and beautiful features. So I'm going to get right to it. Let's go check out the first home. All right, look at this beautiful home. I absolutely love the exterior on this one. It's so nice. One of the things I think I really like about it is that pop of color that you get on the downspouts and the gutters. That's just not something that you see very often. I think it's so nicely done on this home. Obviously, you have a great front porch. It's, you know, the entire width of the home in this case. I love this neighborhood, just the feel that you get. You know, everyone's got these front porches you can hang out on, see your neighbors, whatnot. That's the whole purpose of the neighborhood is to be walkable. You have uh, shops and stores and restaurants and offices right there in the neighborhood. So you walk into the home, you're greeted right away with this beautiful living room with this feature fireplace. And I absolutely love the look of this, the arch and you know the tiles here uh, for just right around the fireplace. Those are so nice. Also an incredible mantle. And I just absolutely love how it's you know, not straight up, but just how it angles in towards the center. So beautiful. What a cool fireplace. And obviously beautiful flooring here. And then obviously over here, right into it, we got this incredible kitchen. And uh, I absolutely love how long this island is. You know, they made it go the entire length rather than just a shorter distance. And you got this beautiful countertop in here. Again, you got nice light fixtures as well. Just everything in this kitchen is so nice. This beautiful sink, the faucet's so nice looking. Here you got your dishwasher. And I love to how they have this laid out. So you notice the sink is off to the left, but it's centered with the dining room light over there. So I love that they did that because one, it gives you more room over on that right side that way if you're entertaining over there you have more space for it you know the sink isn't right in the middle where it takes up more space where you don't have as much room it's not as deep of an island as you sometimes see but i really like how they did it obviously you could have had the sink right here in the middle uh, but it makes sense to have it over there on the left side again that way the right side you can have more so for entertaining so over here obviously you have your fridge your oven I really love uh, what they did with the vent hood. I couldn't figure out how to get the lights to come on there, uh, just to the right and left of the vent hood, but you can still tell it would be really, really nice. They got a beautiful tile backsplash here as well. Uh, let me see if I can get this light on here so you can see. There we go. Really, really nice. I love just the texture on the backsplash there. It's so beautiful, and the lights just really add another dimension to it as well. Lots of great cabinets in here. And then here you have your prep kitchen or your pantry space. So really nice having the pocket door there. That way you can hide things if it's a little bit messy in there. Lots of great upper storage cab or storage shelves, I should say, as well as this nice countertop and some lower shelves as well. A really, really nice pantry space, but I love that you got the countertop as well. And lots of shelves over here as well. All right, and now over here, again, we have the dining area. Really nice space, I love that chandelier. And these lots, if you hadn't noticed, they are relatively close to your neighbors. That's just how this neighborhood is. You have a uh, walkability in it, uh, there's restaurants, there's offices, um, all kinds of things that you can do right here in the neighborhood. So that's, it's on purpose that these are smaller home sites. So you do have a lot of bar seating here at the island as well. And uh, over this way, which I just want to point out, I like this arch. It's just really classy to have that there. But over here we have your main floor powder room. really cool fixtures in here and a pretty spacious room as well I like that it wasn't just crammed in a lot of times you'll see 
in uh, especially some older homes where the bathroom is just tiny and you have a, a shrunken vanity that you can barely put your hands in the sink to wash them so it's really nice and over here we do have a really nice drop zone area plenty of space here again this is a very generous size compared to a lot of homes that I see, and it's extremely high quality too. So it's not just the cheapest thing possible, but really nice looking and really uh, good quality. So back here we have a back patio area, and then that is your garage, so it's rear facing. You can kind of tell with some of these other homes, they have a rear facing garage onto this you know, nice alleyway here. But, uh, yeah, great little patio area there to be able to enjoy the outdoors. So next, let's head on downstairs. And if we haven't met before, I am David DeLui with Red One Realty, your Columbus, Ohio real estate agent. And of course, if you wanna know all about living in Columbus, Ohio or moving to Columbus, Ohio, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my new show every Saturday morning. And I'm gonna show you all around the Columbus, Ohio area, either model homes or new construction homes for sale, just like this one. That way you can get a great idea what it's like to live in the Columbus, Ohio area without ever leaving the comfort of your home. So here in the basement, we've got a great big multi-purpose room, a rec room, however you wanna call this would be a great movie room as well, but a huge space. I'll just show you from over here you have it's like about eight and a half foot ceilings in the main area here under the bulkhead obviously it's a little bit lower than that but a really great room and then check out this full bathroom down here in the basement and this shower is absolutely beautiful One of the nicest basement showers I've ever seen, for sure. With, and I just even noticed too, with a nice upgraded tub also. Not just the beautiful tile, but the tub is nicer too. So you have that bathroom and you also have this bedroom. You have your egress window over there. And you do also have a nice walk-in closet, at least a step-in closet, we'll call it a step-in. Not gonna walk around in there, but uh, it's definitely big enough to step in. So really nice. Here in the basement, again, you have nice high ceilings. And obviously you can tell you have the natural light. You have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five recessed lights in here. So you got a lot of light in there for it being a basement bedroom. And then over here is just the unfinished area. So you got a little bit of space for storage, not too much, but uh, here's all your mechanicals. So let's go on back up to the upstairs. If you're thinking about moving to the Columbus, Ohio area, I would absolutely love to help you. I love it when you guys reach out to me. Someone actually just called me this morning as well saying, hey, I'm watching you on YouTube. Can you tell me more about this? Looking to buy a home. So I would love to help you as well. Uh, you can give me a call, you can send me a text, you can send me an email, or you can also schedule a Zoom call with me. I uh, would love to chat with you about what your goals are and uh, see how we can make those goals a reality. So whether you're wanting to move right away, you know, sometimes people are saying, hey, I need to find a home like in the next week or two. And other times people will say, hey, I'm looking to move in the next year or in the next six months, whatever it is, happy to help you. So make sure to reach out and uh, let's get that, get you on your way here. Also, if maybe you're already living here, but uh, if you're looking to buy or sell a home definitely happy to help you with that as well so here we are upstairs and uh, maybe you don't do too much with this space but you do at least have a little bit of room to move around here but right here I love what they did with this I don't know if you noticed it was extremely quiet when I opened it because you have magnets here instead of it being the things where it gets the metal stuck on metal, it's magnets. So it's really soft and quiet and even closing it, I kind of close it a little hard and it has you know, almost, it's not like a soft closed cabinet, 
for a kitchen, but it has a little padding there to help it not be quite as loud. So it's really cool to have for your laundry room. All right, so the first bedroom upstairs, again, we had that one in the lower level. Again, you have nice high ceilings in here, nine foot ceilings and uh, really nice closet. So great secondary bedroom here. You can see out into the uh, back, back patio area. So this is a newer neighborhood. So if you're interested, maybe you don't like this home in particular or the other ones that I'll show you later in the video, um, you can definitely build here. Uh, so there's lots of home sites that are still available. They, they have many upcoming sections, phases of the neighborhood that they will be building. Um, might be getting a little bit low in the current, current phase, but then obviously they'll be opening up the next phase after that. So um, might be a home that's roughly this size where these homes um, in this, this section right here tend to be from 600,000 to maybe eight or maybe 900,000, just depending on the size and the features of the home. Whereas there is another section where it's generally speaking homes that are a million and up. So depending on uh, what style home you're looking for, I will show you uh, the last home in this video will be one of the more expensive homes. So depending on what side, type of home you're looking for, there's definitely an opportunity for you to get it here. And they also have home sites that are a bit bigger as well. So that third one, even though the home site isn't going to look quite, um, maybe as big as what you would think, um, that's because it's kind of on like the main boulevard. So that's the reason why on that one, but um, they do have home sites that are a little bit bigger where you have like the side or front load garage. So rather than the back garage. All right, so obviously that was a beautiful bathroom. I love that it's kind of matching the bathroom down in the lower level. And so then on here to the primary bedroom. So nice and big room here, very spacious. I love that they gave you a little feature wall over there as well as some built-in lights to go beside your bed. And you even have the matching gold ceiling fan there. Really cool. All right, so over here we have the walk-in closet. I love getting the natural light in here because even if I turn off the light, it's still pretty bright. So this is with the light off and yet you can still come in and see your clothes, see what you're getting, figure out what color is that shirt again? <laughs> so really cool. And I just noticed this too. You have a thermostat here in your primary bedroom. So I would assume that that means you have multiple zones, but that way you can, you can keep it the temperature you want either just in this room or at least for the upstairs, you know, that way if it's a little bit warmer upstairs in the summertime, you can cool it off. Or if you want to keep it a little bit warmer upstairs in the wintertime, you can heat it up. All right, so here's your primary bathroom. Check this out. So neat. Really cool finishes. I love the light fixtures here. And I just noticed this too, that they gave us space for a hand towel on both sides there. Really cool. All right, so right behind the door, you do have your toilet. And again, you got, you got the little bling there for your toilet paper holder and your, even your, on your toilet. And then here is the shower. This is so cool. Wow. Love to get the dual shower heads. I think it's cool that they kept the, uh, the actual faucet in the middle. And I do want to back up so you can see. I love that they did 
the archway too. That just gives it such a classy look. I mean, it's literally like you are stepping into a room, a shower room over there. You do have a hook for a towel over there. You got this beautiful hang rounds on the floor of your shower. You have a bench over there. Just such a beautiful shower. All right, here we have the second home. This one's on a little bit bigger of a lot. Um, not a ton, but definitely is noticeably bigger. Again, you got the beautiful front porch here. Some great landscaping. Let me just pull you around to the side here so you can see just a little bit about it. So it goes all the way back to that, uh, what looks like a driveway there. That would be the back of the property line. So let's go on inside, beautiful light fixtures, and of course, the wood planks up here, so nice. You're gonna love this home. Can't wait for you to see it. So again, you walk straight into the living area and check this out. Really beautiful. The fireplace is so nice. I mean, that is just stunning. The ceilings are so high in here. I love that. You know, like, I, I think this is actually, I think there's some times where I think I like the actual vaulted ceilings or like a two-story great room, but I love it when it's just nice, like 10 foot high ceilings. It feels so nice in a home to me. So really cool, really great design here. So then over behind me here is your dining area. Again, is really, really nice. And here is the kitchen. Look at this island. It's huge. Tempted to eat the bread, but I know it's not real. <laughs> you never know these days, right? You go into a open house and I don't know if it's fake or real food. There was one time I was in a home and it was uh, donuts and and we all wanted the donuts but uh, we knew they were fake so the backsplash is really nice. You just It's the, the same material as the countertop so really beautiful classy look. Obviously it's gonna be nice and easy to wipe off. A beautiful that hood here too. Love the lighting there. And check out your fridge. This is such a nice fridge. It's huge. Really nice. You've got your nice farmhouse sink. Look out onto your main living area, which again, it's so spacious. It's a big room, really cool. And of course you got your dishwasher right there. So let's head on down this way really quick. So you do have your pantry right here. Lots of good storage space in there. And then here is your main floor powder room. I love with this builder, they make the powder rooms have some character. So I've toured quite a few of their homes and the powder rooms are always unique. Like, it's not just a bland, here's a pedestal sink, and here's white paint on the wall, and, you know, a standard toilet. That's always really unique. So, so in this home, 
unlike the previous home where you had to walk through a patio, it is an attached garage and it's a three car garage. So again, you can tell it's like, okay, well this is a little bit bigger home, a little bit higher price point. Instead of having the detached garage, you have an attached three car garage. I love these homes where they have this side covered patio here. So a great space to be able to get outside. Obviously you can have some breeze, but you're not going to, you can be hidden from like the rain if you wanted to, which is great. Um, so we come back in a little bit for what was behind me there. Let's head on to the downstairs at this point. It's one of the, one of my favorite neighborhoods in the Columbus, Ohio area. So obviously it's in the suburbs, it's in Lewis Center. But uh, if you like the idea of this style of home, again, maybe they don't have your home that you would love for sale, but you could always build one. So there's uh, a number of builders in this community, got great relationships with them. So if you have uh, any questions about this neighborhood, feel free to reach out to me and happy to help you get pointed in the right direction. So again, you have really high ceilings in here, about eight and a half to nine feet ceilings in the main part of this basement, which is huge. It's just like the, the living room upstairs. And then over here, you have this incredible wet bar. I mean, check this out. This is not, hey, we just put up a countertop and a sink and called it a wet bar. It is so unique. I've been wanting to come in and see this home for quite some time now. And every single time I tried to come, there was a scheduling conflict or, um, you know, I couldn't end up making it or there's actually a couple of times where I came and then, uh, or at least once where I came and someone was doing a photo shoot in it. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, I, I can't come and uh, do a tour when there's a photo shoot happening. So I'm glad to finally be able to get in here and tour it so I can share it with you all. So you have a nice bedroom here in the basement. And then right next to it, you have another bedroom here in the basement. So, you know, obviously not everyone's gonna need the two extra bedrooms, but if you did, you got them. And you have the egress windows. Otherwise you could, you know, set it up as an office or uh, an exercise room or any kind of space, really. Um, so here you do have a uh, nice unfinished area with a little bit more space than the previous one. So you do have some space for storage, which is great. And then right next to it here is the lower level full bathroom, which again, this is such a beautiful bathroom. This shower is so nice. These tiles have so much character. And again, you have a nice upgraded tub too. It's just really cool. The, the attention to detail is so high in this home. Really like it a lot. I mean, this, this room is huge. Obviously you can tell this, this is a large home. This, this home has a really big footprint, you know, front to back. Obviously most homes aren't going to be as long as this one is, you know, it's more long than wide, but still really, really nice. So we're gonna head on up to the upstairs now, but again, if you're thinking about moving to the Columbus, Ohio area, maybe you already live here, looking to buy or sell a home, make sure to reach out to me. You can text, you can call, you can email, schedule a Zoom. Uh, technically it doesn't have to be a Zoom, but that way you can schedule and just let me know what would be a good time to connect with you. Would love to help you buy or sell your next home here in the Columbus, Ohio area. So probably see what's going on there, but let's let's peek over this way first. Beautiful chandelier here in the stairway. The stairs were just nice too. I love that you do have the window here, but then you also have the windows here and here. That's just for being probably not a space where you're gonna have much furniture. Maybe you put a chair or two there. 
but it's just really nice. I love that it's nice and wide and open. All right, so here we have bedroom number one upstairs. Got your step-in closet here. give you a little bit of a feel for the neighborhood, obviously. Got a couple homes under construction across the street there. Beautiful home right next to it. Dark one and there's just so many nice homes here. All right, and then this bedroom has an ensuite bathroom. And I love this tile on the floor. The herringbone pattern, it's really nice. And again, you've got a, a beautiful shower. It's like this is a custom home, not just a run-of-the-mill home where you get the, the cheapest shower possible. They really go all out with their finishes, which I love it. Makes for a beautiful home. Even the, the fan. You can just tell it's like but that's not a it's not a lowly fan. That's not the cheapest fan you could buy. It's a really nice. And so right here is where you have your laundry closet. Again, you've got the magnets here, so it's not loud. I'm not editing the audio here. That is the true audio of um, the lack of noise that it makes. So this is a utility closet right here. You know, I have nice, nice heavy doors, so it's still not too loud. So. Over here, we have the second upstairs bedroom. And this one, I'll call this a true walk-in closet. This is a little bit bigger, and it even comes with your very own yellow ladder. Just kidding. <laughs> Mike, if you're missing your ladder, it's here in the closet. Come get it. And uh, over here, we have an ensuite bathroom again. This looks, I think this looks identical to the next, to the other one, which is a good thing because I loved the other one. So really nice. I like when there's that co cohesiveness in the bathrooms. Really beautiful. So you can see, so this is looking out the side of the home. So you can see across the street is another neighbor's side of their home. All right, and then over this way, is the third upstairs bedroom. So other than the hallway, these two bedrooms are the width of the home. So other than just this area where I'm standing out here, it's the entire width. Obviously you have the window on that side and then there's the window on that side of the home. So this one has an even bigger walk-in closet, very nice. And this one as well has an ensuite bathroom. So this one is a little bit of a different layout, a little bit of a different finish. I'll show you why in just a second. Very nice shower, wow. I love that you have the tile going all the way up to the ceiling. And too, I love, that I didn't notice this earlier, they have this in the shower downstairs. Got the slats in there, that way um, you're not getting at least as much water that could accumulate on there because it will drain through it. So you have a little bit of a different light fixture. And then you have the hexagon tiles for the floor in here. Again, a beautiful vanity, beautiful countertop here. So the reason why this layout is different is because right here, we also have a pocket door that leads into this beautiful office up here. I'm gonna back up so you can see it from the entry to the office. So you got these beautiful double doors here coming in again, right off the hallway. So if you came upstairs, you can see right into the office that the doors are open. And man, this is a stunning office. So it's nice that you have a bathroom that you could easily get to. What a great office here. All right, there is one more thing I have to show you in this home, so don't leave yet. We gotta go see the primary bedroom suite because it is on 
the main level. So if you want to know all the details about this home, about the previous home, and I'm also going to show you one more home, make sure to sign up for my free VIP email list. Uh, you can pull out your phone, your smartphone, use the camera on it to scan the QR code that's on the screen. And you can then just quickly sign up, put your name and email address in, sign up for that free weekly email. So I'll get as many of the details that I can to share with you, um, as well as you'll be able to see the previous ones as well. So make sure to sign up for that email. All right, so here we are right down here is your primary bedroom. And isn't it beautiful? I love the wood beams on the ceiling. I haven't pointed out, the floors are so nice in this home. Really beautiful floors. And how convenient too, to have a main floor master bedroom suite. Not just a random bedroom, but the bedroom primary bedroom. So that's really nice to have that. And I, I like too that they've put in the homes any place where they think someone might put a TV. They've added this on the wall. I'm not gonna pull it off unless it's super easy to because I don't want to accidentally mess it up. But you can see there's a plug in there. They've got Ethernet in there. That way you can have it hooked up and you're not having to run the TV off of Wi-Fi. Uh, but you can just have it hooked up by Ethernet to make sure you get the best connection possible. But also cover that up with artwork if you didn't want to have a TV in here, obviously. So here's your bathroom and my goodness, look at these tiles. What a cool and unique pattern. I do not think I've ever seen anything quite like that before. And of course you've got a beautiful vanity. I love the countertops on there. And even the mirrors. I love that you have uh, the thickness to it and the frame around it. That's really cool. All right, so real quick, I'll show you the shower in just a second. Let's check out your closet here. So a nice size walk-in closet. And you also have your own laundry right here in your closet. That way you don't even have to worry about going upstairs. So that's awesome. You can totally have one level living if you want to have it that way. Really, really nice. All right, so here is the shower. I love how big it is. It's just so nice. You know, you walk into the bathroom, your eyes are immediately drawn to it because it's so big. Really nice. That's a nice test. There was no squeaking when I opened that shower door. tile in here is so nice. Everything in the shower is really nice. So cool. Oh, it's a beautiful home. Let's go check out the next one. And here's our final home for this video. Obviously, it's not quite done yet, especially with the landscaping. So let's go check it out. All right, let's go check out this last home now. And this one, obviously you're gonna see, it's not completely finished. So there's still some finishing touches to be made, um, but you'll get the idea. This is a totally custom home. So there might be places here or there where like, I couldn't get these light fixtures to turn on. So a beautiful entryway, as opposed to the other two homes where you just walk straight into the living room. This one, you have uh, a nice foyer. And now check this out. <laughs> this, I'm not even sure if you'd call this your living room. I guess you would, because you have that beautiful fireplace. But with the chandelier, I would have thought more, oh, maybe this is a dining room, maybe a huge dining area. But hey, let's just call it a, a living room for now. You can call it whatever you want, I guess. This fireplace is beautiful. Really nice. It's a, a really spacious room, too. Yeah, nice, looks like 10 foot ceilings in here. Get a beautiful trim work with the pillars here. And I love too that you have the doorway right there. You have the doorway right there. Really cool. Obviously it's nice and open right here as well. 
So let's check out this side over here. So well, maybe for most people, maybe you use it as an office, but you could have it as a guest bedroom. You have a closet here. So they don't have the landscaping yet. That's why you see a dirt outside. That's a, it's a nice, I wouldn't call it necessarily a park, but green space is what's directly across the street. Kind of goes down the center main boulevard. And uh, here you have a full bathroom. Now check this out. <laughs> so you've got a beautiful shower. There we go. I can see it a little bit better. Beautiful shower and a really nice vanity here. But then you also have the pedestal sink and toilet right here. So it's like, okay, so for the people who just needed to use the bathroom because they're you know, coming over and they're at your house, they can just use this. You could have that closed off if you want. Uh, that way, in case there's extra things in there, you know, you don't have to worry about cleaning that as well. All right, so now kind of into this main space. So maybe over here, maybe you do use this as a dining area. It doesn't have the fireplace, but man, look at that. I wouldn't call it a feature wall because it's a feature, feature loop up and over. Really nice, really unique. And I love the nice windows as well. So much natural light. And let's go ahead, let's, let's check out the kitchen. I know you want to see it. Let's see if I can get these lights on here. It's always a, I'm sure to know in a home like this because you got it's so big that you have light fixtures and light switches in multiple different locations. So I love the fact that you have this big center island. Obviously you got your sink on that side. You'll have your, your oven and range hood over on this side. You'll have your dishwasher right here. And you can look out onto your side patio from the sink and a place for your fridge right here and you have space for additional ovens and micro or an additional oven and microwave likely right here in your prep kitchen and again you have nice windows here as well and into your pantry space so really beautiful and i like too that you have a door closing that off again that way you don't have to see it i don't know who's would have a pantry unless you take everything out of the containers you know, like the original manufacturer container and put it into nice glass containers but it's like all right who, who wants to spend their time doing that but that's nice that way you can close it off your prep kitchen area will still look beautiful without people seeing your actual pantry and seeing what food do they eat i wonder <laughs> anyway look at this back or i should say side patio it's huge really big These homes are just amazing. Love it. All right, so back here we do have your drop zone or mud room. Obviously, you can tell they've got some touching up to do, but again, I've had my eye on this home for a long time as they've had it under construction. Really wanted to show it to you, so I thought, well, let me go ahead and, and see it and show it to you while I'm here. So it looks like here we have uh, the third car is, looks to be a side load garage over there. I'm not gonna walk down there just cause it's a bit dirty and I don't wanna walk it through the house here, but really cool. So we'll get back to that room in just a minute. Let's go ahead, let's go check out downstairs. Let's see what we got down here. Again, I, this is so unique. This isn't like the production home where builders build this floor plan and there's 300 of them around the city like this is a custom home yes it is it does have a floor plan name so you got some unfinished area here let's actually see there we go can explore a little bit all right nice little room back here if you want to make an exercise room or again just have a lot of storage space you can do that put some shelves in back there then you have another unfinished space here which also you could have a lot of storage in here 
And then right here, right when you come down the stairs, you do have a really nice uh, wet bar with some cool features. Look at this. It looks like this is supposed to be kind of down, hidden in the shelving. That's a really cool look. And let's see over here. Where are the lights? Like I said, you gotta, you gotta hunt. Hunt for them. There they are. All right. It's a really great space here. It's perfect for a little movie room. And behind me over here, check this out. Okay. Exercise room, yoga room, what have you. I love the glass on it. You got the glass doors as well. This is a great space. That's really nice. And over here, you got a bedroom with your big egress window. That's wow, that's a lot bigger than typical. <laughs> normally, I mean, you could, there's still an egress window, but they're normally not quite as big as that one. So that's awesome to have a really big egress window. Okay, if you need to get out, it's a lot easier to do so. Really nice shower here in this lower level bathroom and as well as this countertop. So nice. All right, let's go back on upstairs. Let's see what is up there. If you have any questions, obviously I'd love to help you. Make sure to reach out. Again, call, text, email, schedule a Zoom, schedule a meeting with me. Happy to help you make your move here to the Columbus, Ohio area, or if you're already here, happy to help you buy or build your next home, sell your home, all the stuff. That's what I'm here for. I like touring the homes, but I like helping you even more. So make sure to reach out, find out what the most recent builder incentives are. Look at that light fixture. Wow, how cool is that? So nice. I actually had to reach out to some builders this morning because I needed to find out what their incentives were for one of you guys. So that's what I'm here for. That way you know and you can compare. It's a great laundry room. Wow, really nice. And you have a closet up here too. So cool. I love that you have a nice shelf in here and you have a really nice sink and all of these uh, cabinets. You can't really see the window, but the window is behind the door there. So that's great to have natural light in there. You have a nice linen closet right there and down the hallway. This reminds me of a home I toured last year, uh, but this is, I say it's a lot nicer, but it's nicer in my opinion. It just like, it feels more finished, even though it's not done yet. Um, you can just tell the, the quality of the workmanship in this one is just top notch. So obviously they have things they still have to do, but it feels so solid and nicely done. All right, so we got a Jack and Joe bathroom here. Beautiful tile flooring. You have a walk-in closet here. Let's walk on over to the other side. So now you have your own private sink over here and the closet for this bedroom. So this bedroom looks out onto the front, out the front of the home. All right, so I thought, and I guess I was wrong, so I'm, I don't normally do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the, the primary suite now, because there's something else downstairs, so you're gonna have to wait to see what is downstairs, because I didn't walk through the home first. So, you're good. I don't, what in the world is this? Oh my goodness. All right, I gotta show you what's behind me in just a second, but I don't wanna take you away from seeing this. I'm trying to find the light fixtures, or sorry, the, the light switches. So I can get the lights turned on. Here they are. There it is. How beautiful is that? Really nice. All right, so you gotta check this out. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. And hello. I don't even know what this room would be for. Like maybe put a little 
desk in here and you call it an office? I don't know, you got a pocket door. Now every wall is a feature wall. You got a really unique and special light fixture up there. Don't get dizzy. But uh, man, this is beautiful. It's a unique home, what can I say? This is not a run of the mill cookie cutter home. This is a custom home. And here's the primary bathroom. So, oops, I gotta go on this side to get the lights. I gotta hurry, I'm running out of time. <laughs> I gotta get to a showing with another client and meet up with another client who's selling their home and then take earnest money to a title company for another person who's buying a home. So, man, check this out. So nice. I love this really, really wide vanity here. Got your water closet there. Obviously they don't have the, what I'm assuming will be a glass surround. They don't have it installed yet, but what a big shower. So nice. That's really, really cool. And then over here, we have our walk-in closet. I guess they don't have the uh, clothing rods installed yet, but that's okay. They will get to it. I didn't even notice because there was so much more to take in. These nice big square tiles here in the bathroom. Very cool. All right, so let's go back downstairs now because like I said, there was, there was something special down there. So let's go check it out. I love this laundry room. This was one of the cooler laundry rooms. I know it's not huge. It could be bigger. I've seen a bigger one, but that's one of the nicest laundry rooms I've seen. So real quick, let's check out this room that's downstairs that I thought was the primary bedroom, but clearly it's not. Okay, so here we go. So maybe this is the office. That could be, this would make a lot of sense because you have a door to get onto your rear, your, your, I keep saying rear patio, it's a side patio. So this would make sense. So this is your office space. Let me get this light turned on so you can check it out. Really cool. So that front room then would be a guest bedroom for sure, unless you need a second office. But this would be a great office for you. Then you got all your bedrooms upstairs, other than I think we had one in the basement too. So beautiful home here. If you like this video, make sure to check out this video right here, or you can see the one that YouTube thinks you'll like right here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.